Hello all, a lot of comments have come in about my long exposure time lapse videos with the Sony HX100V and they're wondering how I'm doing it. Since the HX100V doesn't have a remote accessory and doesn't allow you to control the camera from your computer, I've come up with my own solution. So the answer to this, I'm using a custom made intervalometer. We'll call it the HX100V Intervalometer. Here's what it's going to sound like when the servo goes off. And the proof is in the pudding, as you can see, it is taking a picture. And here's a little close-up of the servo. You can set it up so the servo presses the shutter halfway so it focuses, and then finally presses it down to take the shot. Mine, on the other hand, is set up a little bit weird in this case. You just have to fiddle around with the settings and you will get what you want eventually. Now we're going to talk about all the pieces that you need. There will be links in the description for each item. So what we're looking at here is the circuit board, which is called the Shutterbug Pro. This is basically the intervalometer. It's a very small piece, but very effective. Next thing we're looking at here is the servo. It's a 9 gram RC hobby servo. And this is an important piece we're looking at here. It's, it's called a voltage regulator for a 5 volt DC camera. What we're looking at here is a female to female servo cable adapter. You're going to want to choose the Futaba as a connector and not the universal JR high tech. Now what we're looking at here is a four cell double A size battery holder with plug. You're going to want to purchase this if you want your intervalometer to be portable and used outside such as in areas where there is no outlet to plug in your power supply. Now what we're looking at here is just an old power supply that I had. It's a DC output 5 volt 2.0A. I did try a number of power supplies until I found the one that worked. Don't want to really do it the way I did it, but this is the one that worked for me. The specs are there. You can always contact customer service at dpcav.com and they'll be glad to help you to get you set up. But this is the one that worked for me and all the specs are right there in front of you. You're also going to need a servo extension cable, uh, which is pretty cheap, they're just $2.50, and you'll need that to splice to the power supply to be able to connect it to the intervalometer. That's basically what I use as my power source, unless I'm going mobile and I don't have an outlet to plug in my power supply, I'll just use the battery. And to put it all together, you gotta get a little bit creative. So here I have some Velcro, which you can probably purchase at Staples or at your local stationery store. And there's a little piece of wood in there, which is actually a clothes hanger, which I've shaved down so it fits snugly where it needs to fit, basically. So like I said, you're going to have to get creative to make this all work, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out with all the information that I provided in this video. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, which I'm sure you will, just slap it in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So there's your HX100V intervalometer custom made. Thanks for watching.